Okay, let us learn about proper fractions, improper fractions and mixed fractions. Now before learning about this, let us recall that what is a fraction? A fraction is something, some number which can be written in the form a upon b, okay, where a and b are whole numbers okay and b is not equal to 0 in mathematical terminology we call a the numerator and b the denominator right now what kind of fraction belongs to depends upon the value of the numerator and the denominator. Okay? So let's say you have proper fractions, you have improper fractions, and you have mixed fractions. Let's first consider these two the proper fractions and the improper fractions. Now a proper fraction is the one where A is less than B or the numerator is less than the denominator. So let's say you have a fraction where you have 1 upon 2, you have 3 upon 5, you have 7 upon 11, you have 8 upon 13. All these are proper fractions. Why? Because in all these cases the value of the numerator which is a, let's say 1 in this case, is less than b which is the denominator. 1 is less than 2, 3 is less than 5, 7 is less than 11, 8 is less than 13. If you were to ever divide this, okay, ever divide this, the value that you get in respect of a proper fraction is always less than 1. So whenever you will divide this and the rule is very simple because the numerator is less than the denominator so whenever you divide the numerator from the denominator the number has to be obviously less than 1. Let's talk about improper fractions. Now in improper fractions the value of a is greater than or equal to B. This is the sign which represents greater than or equal to B. So the numerator is always either greater than or equivalent to B. So let's say we take the same denominators as we took in this example 2, 5, 11 and 13. If this fraction has to be an improper fraction then the value of the numerator at least has to be equal to the denominator. So it can be 2, 3, anything after that. Similarly for this it can be 5, 6 or any number greater than that. Similarly here it can be 11, 12 or any number greater than that. 13, 14 or any number greater than this number right so this is what is known as improper fraction where the value of the numerator or a is either greater than or equal to its denominator which is b now in a mixed fraction what happens is there are two things the word mixed itself indicates there has to be more than one so in a mixed fraction you always have a whole number okay plus what do you have a proper fraction so let's say we take a whole number 3 and with that we want to write a proper fraction let's say we write this 1 by 2 so in this case the fraction has one whole number and one proper fraction right Similarly, you can also write this as 3, 3 upon 5, 3 upon 5 being the other proper fraction. 
or 3, 7 upon 11. Right? What this means is 3 and 1 by 2. Okay? Now, when you have to convert this, let's say for example, you want to convert this into an improper fraction. To convert a proper fraction, or rather a mixed fraction, into an improper fraction, what you do is, you write this number as if, you know, the denominator is, let's say for example here, 2. Right? So what do we do? We multiply this number by 2. So the result will be the number, the whole number, into denominator plus numerator divided by denominator. The whole number here is 3 into denominator is 2 plus 1 divided by 2 or 7 by 2. We will see some more example on this in some of the next videos. Right? So if you like this video, please hit the like button. You can always share this on your Facebook and other social medias. Thank you for your time and patience. And have